I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! Ugh. I got it! I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish blobbing a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never. And smack him across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Good old Mr. Spatula. The exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. Certainly not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original floating belly up in this very water cooler just last week. Careful, Sam. Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. Hubert's still clinging to life by the skin of his leaf. are just like people, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cute from far away, but really scary when you look at them through a microscope. Our thugs and hoodlums file cabinet is almost full. Can I help it if I come from a large family? This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Does it seem quiet in here to you? Oh, they're fumigating the building today. I forgot to tell you. Well, that explains it. What time is it? I'm happy to say I have no idea. And I'd rather keep it that way. I guess we should get back to work. Okay, although I prefer the term mayhem for pay. Jimmy Tutti, fence. It's a sad day when hard-working rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! What customers?
Alien Love Rectangle Post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. Hmm, are those... Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. Hey, Bosco. Nice flop, Jack! Son of Cordon Bleu! Who is this, uh, Bosco? <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Bosco! No! But you may call me Jean-Francois Sissipens, the cowardly French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia! The Toy Mafia! They've got it in for me! Take a number, guys! What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing, yet. But I know what they are planning, and it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, take your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning... To deliver something to my star! Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my star. Or my name is not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. Shh, they don't know that. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tag. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tag. It is b -tag's Part 2! How does BTAD's part do work? First, is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical! If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street! Vive la France! Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to. He's threatened by their potential unification. Uh -huh. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. And I intend to. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Do you have any straight tufts of Sasquatch hair? Nope. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow letter? Nope. Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? Nope. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? Nope. Do you have any... Nope. How do you know what he was gonna... No! Do you? No! Do... No! Do you? No! What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Basco Tech Innovation! A device non parallel on chocolate! Is that good? Oui, oui! This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, Senor Sissy Pants. We'll take that miniature listening device. The price is 10 million dollars. 
Ten million? Wait, is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. Nothing for us right now. Zit! See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir! The anti-delivery camera. Are those the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? You don't have ten million bucks on you, do you, little buddy? Not today, but we could always hustle somebody for it if you want to. How much more inconvenient can this place get? It's not that inconvenient. Besides, I think anyone who wants to buy a blue sludgy should have to provide a urine test. I mean, what have they got to hide? It's always the cute and cuddly ones that go fascist the fastest. Shall we shop? Let's do! Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Sludgies. This week's flavors, avocado de mint and fudge pâté de foie gras. Oh good, for a second I thought it was something disgusting. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Whee! 
Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome, and go spend a lot of money. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. Thirteen hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was Mafia Free. That's right, kiddies. 100% Mafia Free. No Mafia anywheres. Come on, True. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. We're looking for somebody who works here. Just talk to Ted E. Bear in the back room. He knows everyone. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours! Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. Teddy Bear's Original Meatball Sandwich. Looks tasty! The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bear's. Hold it, Mugs! Not Mugs, Max! I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... what again? Why don't you tell me? Let us in. Only Toy Mafia allowed in. Not that there's any Mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up for the Toy Mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of Mafia admissions. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. The password is... Swordfish. Nope. The password is... Rosebud. Nope. The password is... Password. Nope. 
bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? Nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the walrus? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. We'll be back. Like I can. Gambling addiction. We won! Yeah, we won, but there's no prize! You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may have Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charm. Leonard Steak Charm. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How exactly does one play poker at the Indian Persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like, a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in, wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road, or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Dick Chama wins. Mama was wrong. 
Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the job. That's enough for now. Okay, although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste! Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Wow, it sticks! Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right. All ten men. You only gotta bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I... You... You cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, stick, Chama. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined! <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Hey, Bosco. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of Saint Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes at teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you... The miniature listening device! This is a bug. Precisely! Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots! 
I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was in Nam, boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. LADYBUGS! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. LARVAE! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. IN YOUR POCKET! Move, maggot! Sir, yes sir! Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. Can't listen to that. Think, boy! You're on fire! Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it! What's the password? This is Silver You may enter. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. Give me the password. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. You interested? Joining the Toy Mob dovetails nicely with our personal goals. We accept. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckle, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody, I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. 
Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Silence as in Gagger? Gagger with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> well, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Well, let's not chance it. We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, that'd explain it. When can we talk to the big boss? Just as soon as you've completed those three little jobs I gave you. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Hey, the one-armed bandit's one arm is missing. Stolen by a bandit, perhaps? Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean Dame. I mean Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam! Max! Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger-pointing. The Toy Mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant... murder. So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. Have you considered the possibility of staging your own deaths to throw the toy mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Big payoffs, graft, corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? 
We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Oh, really? She should consider Guild Slinger as her next profession. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? You are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. What if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. If he's pretending to read local news, he's CIA. If he's pretending to read international, he's CIA. Quick, Sam, while he's distracted. Right, I'll just drink Coleco's ghost. I'll get it. Thanks, little buddy. Hmm, comics. He may be Illuminati. When Bosco gets distracted, he really gets distracted. Whee! Hello there. What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to rent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's best friend, I'll shoot you both. Now, let's be reasonable, Leonard. We'll say the three of us got the sandwich back. Maybe the Toy Mafia will give you a reward. Hmm. Yeah, Leonard. Even though they know you're a cheating jerk bag, I'm sure they'll believe you. Good point, bunny-like thing. No dice, lassie. Oh, should I not have moved my lips when I thought that? Just relax, Leonard. Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dumb. Sam, has that flaccid old gambit ever worked? All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max. You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two Teeth there cannot be trusted. He still has our pepper grinder! Hey, I was gonna return it! Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mile. Hey, what? Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No! Sick of me, buddy. I thought you'd never sick! <laughs> okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, her? Say rough! Say rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheating slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out... 
the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setup. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit farm and as a team. Follow my lead. Yo Mama's so radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up a little, buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo mama is so punctual. She showed up early for her own funeral. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up a little, buddy. Okay. Yo mama is so thrifty. She brings coupons to the Penny Arcade. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Yo Mama's so perky. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Yo Mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> he never even took the sandwich out of the casino. He hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerkbag. How did you not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Boy, Jiggly and Tiny. Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ask about our frequent bankruptcy program. No longer. You're on fire. Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. Happy service. Plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is! I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. Hey Sam, are we mafiosi yet? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful monster twist. 
What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? No, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Let's give this a shot. I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat singing, you put a bullet in his head, Jeffy! Now have fun! How can we not? Guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize. As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Uh, you are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. What if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I, I gotta see what he's reading. He's pretending to do the word jumble. He's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Yeah! Eat pavement, camera! Hmm. The society pages must be skull and bones. A grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? He's pretending to read the gardening section, so it's true. He is toy mafia. I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah. Oh no! Oh no! He's coming in! We're done for, y'all! I surrender! I surrender! Ah! I told you this would happen! I told you he would deliver, and he delivered! I can't believe that guy! Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of Mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh yeah, you're real busy. You've done nothing but loiter around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Well, there's still that little matter of rubbing out our close friend Sybil. 
Oh, right! It's so easy to forget these things. Hey, wait a second. Why didn't B Taz pop good work? My camera! Oh, no, no, no! Oh my goodness, thank you! I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me! Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any of the potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner at all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me pick. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally? Hmm? Hey, Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey Sam, are we mafiosi yet? You know what? I think we are. Let's go and see Chuckles. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Neat. My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, so then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk to the stupid thing. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getter. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police. Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or Ted E. Bears. For all we know, the original of the original Teddy Bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Prime Mart. Only modern technology can perform a horrible run. All of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! Hey, the dawn is gone. 
Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, Do not enter under pain of death. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting! But it probably doesn't mean anything. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. Hmm. Apparently Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? There's a whole bear making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you then! This hypno bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the Hypno Bear! Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from it. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend! I command it! This blows. I obey. Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very... Oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so... For cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh friends. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Why am I so cold? Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what my observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. This is quite a gizmo. Insidious. I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. You're on fire! 
Anybody got a screw loose? Oops. You're on fire. Okay, so if I put this Fremel, what's it in this Springer Fremel? Aw, isn't that cute? She's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot! Oh, master... What is it now, slave? You're on fire! I'm on, I'm on fire! Help! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! There's nothing. I'm on! <laughs> nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? I forget, which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That's a lot. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Mafia mugs. Just doing business legitimately. 